Operation Andromeda. Uh, this is Germany, and it is, yep, the top of the 14th turn. So, uh, no housekeeping to my knowledge, so we can get straight into the German turn. All right, we're going to go for improved factories. That one has eluded us for a little while now. I suppose we could try to finish up uh, tanks since we're there. Go for rockets as well and improve logistics. We'll go for all of these uh, since they're a little closer than jet fighters, and that that just might not come to fruition. So, real important one here. Come on, shucks, it's a six. Keep missing it, gal dang. Haven't been able to get that all game. Uh, now on the heavy armor. Ah, all right. Well, I was even gonna knock over that one this turn. That's all right. We'll buy some tigers or something. Um. Rockets, that might be fun. Oh my gosh, we got rockets. Whatever are we doing with rockets? Um, and improve logistics. All right, so we got all the text, but not the one that we really, uh, really wanted. So, um, all right, well, let's go find out how much rockets cost, and we'll probably buy some of those. Okay. So this was our buy, but now we're going to have to change some things, I guess, because I uh, would love to have some tigers grace the board. Um, how much does a rocket cost? $3? Cool. Let's get one of those. Um, yeah, we don't need to finish our... Whoops, I shouldn't get that. Uh, we don't need to finish our airfield this turn, so we'll just leave that over there. Uh, so here's a tiger a rocket. Uh, still two bucks left. Um, hmm. Two bucks left. I suppose we can can this artillery. And how much is a tiger? Is it too much? Yeah, just one too many. Um, hmm. So let's see. Ah, shucks. That's that's interesting. Ah, let's scrap a militia. Why not? Tigers sound pretty good. Eh, then we still got one dollar left over. Well, that's that's just too bad. I don't know what to do with that dollar. Um, so. Yeah, I just want to let me let me just look at the board just to make sure uh, that we're going to be having the right amounts of militia. So, yeah, I think we'll still be okay with the militia that we got. So let's uh, let's finalize that as our buy. We'll save a dollar, I guess. Why not? Um, we're gonna build a railroad. Uh, we're gonna leave that over there. We've got our Atlantic Wall. Purchasing an airborne, lend leasing an airborne to the Italians. Um, I suppose just real quick, we'll clear that and save a dollar. Strap bomber, tactical bomber, two tigers, two militia, two panzer grenadiers, two infantry, an artillery, a motorized, and the rocket. Uh, so a dollar left over. That's pretty good. So let's get into our combat movements. Um, yeah, Italy is going to do us no favors anymore in the meds, so... We're going to have these guys get out of Dodge, go fight uh, these uh, naval forces over here um, in the Black Sea. And, of course, we'll have some air support. Uh, let's see. We'll grab. Why not? We'll grab these three. There are five on three. Those aren't terrible odds. This air transport, let's see, we'll go one, two, three, pick up the airborne, and then go uh, one, two, three, 
drop it off and it still has one movement left from long range aircraft. So we'll probably end up landing him in Ankara, but we just have to see how this battle is going to go first. Um, we are going to waltz another cavalry in there just because I think I have to do all that then. So we'll do that. We're going to pop those cavalry up. We're going to put those two infantry there. Really going to try to hammer this one home. And then we'll bring two fighters down for one, two. So they have plenty of movement remaining. Oh, that's a tactical bomber. Um, let's probably, I guess put the tactical bomber here and then take one of the fighters and put that here. So, oops. Sorry, cavalry, you can't go in the water. This fighter can go. So that's how that battle is going to look there. Then, let's see. It's difficult to justify taking southern Ukraine. So we're just going to end up uh, taking Bessarabia. Uh, sorry, not Bessarabia. Western Ukraine. Um, real lock, stock, and barrel. Yeah, we'll do that. Or perhaps, yeah, yeah, just because he can waste his militia on quite a few things. Um, and then we're going to have these guys here as well. Uh, like I said, don't worry, this will all get cleaned up after the video, because that's looking kind of rough. This uh, is in Lubelski, it's going to go 1-2. Um, and then that means that the infantry and artillery will get left behind. Um, but never fear, it'll be A-OK. -okay. And I suppose what we will do, um, just because I guess we can, is we'll take one of these uh, Panzer Grenadiers, and uh, actually no, we're going to take a light tank. Light tanks aren't uh, nearly as good as Panzer Grenadiers. And it's going to go Bliss 1-2 uh, into Podlachia, taking both territories. That way, it's still kind of uh, kind of protected in the in the way that it's just a little bit out of range of uh, those killer forces. Uh, so he should be a okay. Um, is that all we're doing for combat down there? I believe so. Uh, of course, we're going to right over here. But what we're going to do is one, two. We're just going to really group them up there, and. Uh, we don't need to be on this line to deny the Soviets because we already own Kola, so we'll be satisfied with that. Uh, what we're going to do here is, let's see. So of course we are going to try to go for the seaplane, or uh, sorry, the submarine, try to get that off of it. Um, and then we're going to take these guys with the armor and the Panzer Grenadier 1-2 into southern Finland. If they succeed, they will blitz into Helsinki, and the wonderful part about that is Helsinki is uh, going to be encircled uh, if this is successful. So that's, uh, that's pretty good for us. Let me just make sure that that is proper. Yes, I do believe that this is a legal move. Just want to make sure I, I can blitz into a city. I just can't blitz out of a city. So I had to check the rules on that real quick just to make sure. Um, and because there are two militia, uh, I would be remiss if I uh, failed that in a terrible way. So we're going to go one. I th I'm, we're just going to go one, two, three, drop off an airborne into that fight. Um, because if they got a hit and I had to take it on a medium armor, that Helsinki would not be worth it. And so it went three, it'll go three back. Uh, so that's pretty good there. One, let's see, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'd have to, huh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I didn't quite count that out earlier, but it'll be okay. So what we're going to do is... Send one fighter, one, two, three, and then hopefully it can blitz with the um, tank, medium bomber, one, two, three, um, 
Yeah, so the fighter went up and around. The bomber's just going straight there, and that should be enough air power for this fight, I hope. And now we're looking at these. We still got a, quite a few aircraft left. How close is he to the long-range aircraft? Are the Soviets, they got that yet? Long-range aircraft. No, and they're not close, so I'll be alright. One, two, three, four. Uh, that's the entire movement. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get sniped by anything silly there. Um, And then we'll uh, drop the airborne down as well as one, two, three. We're going to have these uh, aircraft come down. I think this is a, a decent enough move. It'll be interesting, I'll say. <laughs> So, we're going to take this fighter then. Uh, one, two, three. Might as well, uh, because we really kind of want to beef up Cola just a little bit. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's all those attacks. There's that. Oh, I suppose I did not plant my flag. Oh, and then my uh, strap bomber. Let me just make sure that I yes. Okay, so my strap bomber. Um, no more, no more sneaky plays to Moscow. Uh, Ada Wolf has uh, uh, forbid me from that city now. That's that's a little sad. So what instead we'll do is um, we'll one, two, three carpet bomb Kiev. And the carpet bombings have been going fantastic for all parties this game, so I suspect that, that is to run out. Uh, all right, I think that's it. Is there a chance they motorized in this group? No, do they really not have a motorized? Dang. Oh no, there's my motorized. So it'll tow this artillery. There we go. Okay. Saw the artillery sitting there, and I thought that was a little weird. It should not have uh, sat idle. So, we've got a little bit of convo rating, not too much. We're trying to spike a uh, a silly little uh, submarine. I think we're good. That's uh, It's been 12 minutes, and I haven't rolled any dice yet, really. So, let's kind of get to it. First things first, we're going to go for that sub real quick, see what happens on a 3 LS. Oh, all right. Rad. That works for me. And then he'll just go back. Um, moving on to here, let's, let's do this. So America doesn't have ASW. Let me make sure of that. Yeah, Britain's the only one that's... Oh, yep, yep, Britain's the only one that's doing that. Uh, America's going for radar, but they've got a little ways to go. So let's start this shindig up. Uh, one sub, uh, plus two, that's two dollars off. Next sub, uh, that's going to be no dollars off. So we'll do it to that line first, I guess, and then now we'll continue on. Third sub, uh, that's going to be three dollars off, so that'll be it. One, two, and... So all five dollars come off of the Americans. Uh, they keep raiding us, so we'll raid them. Fair's fair. Um, all right, we'll do Corellia then. Grab a few dice over here. Uh, two tacticals, two fighters. Uh, we'll do top down, so tacticals first. Uh, both miss fighters now. Oh boy. Uh, there's a hit. Ooh, close one. And now for the militia response. A miss. And then these guys are all going right there. Kind of a fun move. 
We'll see if it pays off. So now we're to here. Let's see. Uh, let's try to do it with the aircraft first. Uh, aircraft and medium tanks. That's going to be three at six. Uh, ship sail miss. So now we're down to Panzer Grenadier and two infantry class. Let me just make sure that a Panzer Grenadier. Um, are they going to show up on here? I think it's an advan I think it's advanced mechanized infantry. Um, Oops, a little too far, I think. Um, SS Panzer Grenadier attacks at a four. So, this will be the four, these will be the, uh, the twos. Uh, no good, so the defender goes. Misses, okay. So now we'll uh, top down again. These are sevens, or sorry, sixes. Because I, yeah, six is because of the fighter. Uh, so there's a six. I didn't even roll my medium tank, so that's all right. It'll get a blitz anyway. Uh, the defenders fire. Uh, Twelve, no good. Um, so he comes off. This fighter is there. These guys have to be here now. And my medium tank blitzes onward with a and a medium bomber, and an airborne. So that's pretty good. Uh, by the way, this airborne just walked, just in case anybody uh, missed that. He just walked there. So no harm, no foul. Let's do airborne at a three, and then medium armor and fighter at sixes. So this will be a three. These will be sixes. Uh, perfect. There's two hits. And then so here's these hits looking for one. Uh, both miss. There we go. Oops. Okay, so the medium bomber uh, can go back. Let's see. Oh, well, I guess I'm not too not combat yet. We'll we'll figure out where that guy's going back in a minute. Um, no combat, combat, combat. So let's do this land battle first. We've got two fighters, two cavalry, two infantry. Um, all right, we'll do we'll do bottom up this time. Uh, two infantry at ones fighting in the mountains. No good. Two cavalry. Uh, no good. And two fighters. Uh, one hit, so the infantry dies. Two for four on the defending infantry class units. Uh, there's one hit, so we'll lose an infantry for that. Now, uh, now we'll do top down. We'll start with the fighters because there's only one guy left. So fighters at six. Uh, perfect. There's our one, and then the defending marine is a miss. So all of Turkey now goes to the Germans. And then these fighters have plenty of movement left. We'll figure out what to do with them in a moment. Those guys are there. Now we'll do that battle. This battle, I guess, <laughs> might be a little worse. We'll see what happens. So I do have fighter paired with a destroyer that can hit this coastal sub. Um, so we'll just kind of have to see how the dice fall. Here is the submarine. That's a miss. Here's the destroyer now. Miss. Here's the fighter that's paired with the destroyer. That's a hit. Here's the other fighter. That's a miss. And the uh, tactical bomber. That's a target select, so we're going to kill the heavy cruiser. Um, so the battle could be over right now. I'm not sure what uh, Adolf's going to, I think, yeah, so I don't super know how casualties work when I when I am going for a submarine with a fighter and destroyer, but there's a bigger battle going on. I'm not too sure. Um, so 
he'll just have to clear that up on his turn if he didn't want to lose it. I just kind of assume that he would want to use it because it's not going to do him any good for the rest of the game. There's no convoy lands in here for me anyway. So um, here's the submarine first. Uh, a nine is going to miss. Now for the transport, or sorry, not the transport, the destroyer. A seven is going to miss, and for the heavy cruiser. That is a one that will hit. And uh, I'll lose my destroyer for that. So back to it. Here's the sub. Uh, no good. Here's a fighter. I realize I have two now. Uh, perfect. That's it. Now here's his uh, last dice. Five is so close, but not quite. Everything dies. The sub is alive. And the fighters have plenty of food. I suppose we might as well just start stacking stuff back in Romania because of the airbase. Now we're fully into non-combat, I do believe. So let's do this. We're going to put him there. I think he only had one movement left anyway, so he will just go there. Um. Oh, some strap bombing. Or carbon bombing, I should say. These are for twos. Yeah, no good. Um, so let's put that dice back up there. Not sure if he is using that for anything. Ah, oh, let's do some quick non-coms. Dink, dink. Uh, I'll get the card. I'm gonna have to enlarge the card. That's for sure. With all this, uh, these new additional things. Uh, infantry up. Infantry up. Uh, might as well move the airborne up. Uh, this guy moves to here. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. What do we have to do? What do we have? I killed the sub. But the problem is, I think he could get yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's interesting. I ah, there's a sea plane. The sea plane I think would kill it. So let's let's not be foolish. Um, oh, the medium bomber and the fighter. Um, so one fighter. No, both fighters came. One, two, three. One went four. So I'll have to go five, six up. This one is sitting at one, two, three, so it'll go five, or four, five. Uh, really make an air contingent up there. Bombers there. Wheel. Kind of go, okay, oh yes, it's Panzer Grenadier that's just sitting here. One, two for that guy. Uh, he'll go one. He'll go one. One, two. One, two. One with the artillery. One, two. Gotta love towing stuff. Um, might as well have this guy join them. Uh, and I guess we can replace it with this guy. This guy can head down and get ready to provide some support down here. We'll... Let's see. Push this infantry, I guess, to here. Rail... We're going to rail Dak to Istanbul. Now we're over here. Is there really much to do over here? We're sitting pretty good over here. Um, I guess I'll rail an airborne straight down because he's otherwise not really gonna not really doing anything. Um, got some marines that are hanging out. Unfortunately, I can't really use my transports like I would like to anymore. Uh, so sad. So sad. Too bad. Oh well, no matter. And then 
I think we're sitting pretty good for the rest of this. I suppose maybe we can rail uh, this guy down from the Netherlands since he's really, really just kind of hanging out. We'll cross the strait there, get up there, and put a marine up there. All right, feeling pretty good about that. So now let's place our units, and I'll get the uh, everything cleared up uh, after on the card after the video's over. Because I don't think y'all want to sit around and uh, watch that. So let's see. Did not get improved factories. Quite unfortunate. Uh, did the Tigers have to be built in home country? That's a good question. Yep, must be placed in German home country. Okay. So, that makes these guys pretty easy. So that's one and two of Eastern Germany. Uh, three, four of Eastern Germany. That only leaves one left. I suppose we'll use the motorized down here. That's what's going to pl get placed down here. Motorized there. Um, so railroad will be there. Uh, so this railroad will reconnect Donalowski and East Poland. So let's get that out of here. Oh, I think I missed the button. So I'm not even... It, there we go. It's just gone. We're good. Um... Let's see, we'll do an infantry in Warsaw, an infantry in Gotland. Artillery was going to have to be towed, but that's all right. Let's put a rocket here, though. Yeah, we'll try to have some fun with that. Strap bomber, Western Germany. Tactical bomber, Western Germany. Actually, that, that raises a decent point. Let's do a tack bomber down here. Uh, fortification will go uh, in Normandy facing upwards. Airborne. Sure, why not? And two militia. So. Uh, there we go. Let's do that. And the second militia. Um... Shucks, uh, I'm going to do it here. So, there we go. Super nice. Uh, I think we're feeling pretty good about how, how that went. Ah, yes, and the Italian Airborne. Uh, there you go, Italy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can still do something this game. <laughs> um, all right, wonderful. Thank you all so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. So... I'll send you on over to Adolf's channel to see uh, see what he does in response to whatever I'm doing there. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.